Welcome back to the Alan Aachen Project. I'm Alan Aachen, and with me is Steve Beach. Hold on. Ow! Welcome back to the Vinyl Word Project. I'm Steve Beach. And I'm Brian Mayer. Hello, Steve. Did I do the Alan Aachen thing again? Yes, that's getting quite annoying. I'm sorry. That's okay. So we are back with Jack Armstrong, part Mm -hmm. two. Yeah, he's still the all-American boy. Uh, Always, always the all-American boy. Yeah. What's interesting when I was I was researching a little bit about Jack Armstrong and you know we're used to seeing the athletes mm-hmm. on the boxes right yeah well Jack Armstrong was the precursor to that mm-hmm. so that was their okay. that was their initial idea which kind of saddens me a little bit that they thought some mythical person would be their salesperson or, but, or spokesperson yes but on the other hand I applaud them for thinking and moving past a fake teenager and a barbershop quartet to sell cereal towards athletes yes a much better plan and it's helped them get to a hundred years of wheaties steve yes wheaties is a hundred years old yeah i'm sure it tastes like that too (laughs) it's it's tasted that way (laughs) like since day one hasn't changed the recipe's still the same sadness yeah (laughs) it is interesting though with a hundred years that they started doing uh, some of their more popular athletes on the, on the boxes. Right. You yeah. remember seeing those? Right. They're, well, they're running a centennial uh, set where it's just a, a smaller amount of athletes. I think they've said over 90 athletes have shown up on the boxes um, yeah. in total. Like the centennial is going to have, I think, like 17 um, that they're yeah. going to have on there. Yeah. I remember seeing, when I was a kid, uh, Mary Lou Retton mm-hmm. from the Olympics. Yep. And then more more current, I remember seeing uh, Lance Armstrong yep. on there. Mm-hmm. But of course, one of the more popular ones is Bruce Jenner. Yes, which won't won't be on at least this Wheaties box. It'll <laughs> right. maybe on a cornflakes box. Uh, maybe because it's Caitlyn Jenner now. Yeah, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure they want to combine that with their uh, Wheaties program or their Wheaties. And then we have another interesting record to go along with this episode too. Yeah, um, it's called "Getting to Know Myself" by Hap Palmer. Hap Palmer is a child's music a child's music artist who um, is just about a 9.5 on the creepy scale yes yes like, he is th- like this like we're only gonna play three songs and that's too much and Steve and I's <laughs> friendship is in peril if we listen to the third right. one in, in its entirety yeah he shouldn't have become a children's musician no or he should have changed his name <laughs> right exactly yeah to like Bob. Yeah. Guess what? <laughs> Anything else? Susie and the Banshees? Not named Susie. <laughs> right, right. Change your name. Right. right. So, so are we ready for this? Let's drop the needle, buddy. Let's get this going. Jack Armstrong. Jack Armstrong. The all-American boy. Originally, it was Jacqueline Armstrong. Oh, okay. Show Sex change. Yeah. We stand. Every short team be champions. I said I'll never sing. No. Wheaties, breakfast All I hear are Wheaties. Bring you the thrilling adventures of Jack I'm Armstrong. I'm so glad they switched to athletes the over this. All American boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the cafeteria. <laughs> Just imagine right now that you're sitting in Memorial Stadium at the University of Minnesota. I'd rather not. It's kind of cold. It's yeah. a crisp it always snows afternoon. there, doesn't it? This is All not the way the football stadium sounds. All around you are the loyal fans of those famous Golden Gophers. There's plenty the of Gophers? excitement in the air as Bernie Behrman's team Bernie lines Berman? up for the kickoff. And Running, there it is. stumbling, bumping. <laughs> yes, that's the picture thousands of fans are enjoying eight, this fall. Eight fans. But there's one thing that a good many of them won't realize. His parents. The preparations for these games began weeks and weeks ago before many of us were even thinking yeah. of football. When their fathers bullied All their kids into being these football players. Hard to get <laughs> yeah. tip-top yep, physical pressuring shape. and helicopter parents They're have been around a while. <laughs> the value of good hard training. And if you were playing on the Minnesota squad this year, one of the first things you would have learned from Bernie Behrman would be the importance of training. And training hard 365 days out of the year. So all of them? Just all listen the to days. what he has to say about Every it. day. Here are his exact words. <laughs> You'll pay one me how much to do Wheaties? Every football player Deal. should know is that training helps build champions. Gee, that also if builds bank accounts. Ability, and if you've got your mind made up that you're Gee, going to go sounds just sports, like the announcer does. Take yep. my advice. Weird. Start following Jack Armstrong's year-round personal training rules right away. One, 
Get plenty of fresh air, sleep, and exercise. Anabolic Ooh. steroids. Use a lot of soap and water what? because cleanliness Use is a lot of soap and water. Soap and water? Three, what are these guys doing? Are they digging up holes in the football field? Every morning. Now, just listen to what Bernie Beerman has he to say about say Jack Armstrong's rule practice. number three. He says, I'm in favor of a big what? Get outside and wash your hands. Yeah, and you'll play in the NFL one day. Like Andy, Wheaties, yes. you'll do all of those Wheaties three things that then do not game. involve football at all. Now, that's a you will end up in the NFL. Yep. One of the greatest wow. football coaches in the country. A man who knows his facts on training. <laughs> I'm not, not sure I take his advice. advice. <laughs> Get down to business right away and train Jack Armstrong's way. He got that one guy to college football, only because he paid them. All the uh -huh. whole wheat goodness of Wheaties for you tomorrow morning and every morning. Ask mother to stock up on Wheaties for <laughs> because you. Because fathers don't go to the grocery stores. Time she shops. And now Jack <laughs> Not Armstrong, in the, 20s. the All American Boy. <laughs> They're on an airplane again. Yep, they sure are. Jack Armstrong is looking for Uncle Jim. <laughs> Jack and Billy and Betty are in the underground electrical laboratory at Hudson, Ooh. where Uncle Jim is working to transform matter into vast He's atomic He's trying to kill power. us all. Yeah. Or, when they entered the Uncle Jim's office, they found not Uncle Jim, but a mysterious stranger who was Strangers searching Uncle Jim's in the night. They captured him and tied him up. And now, while he's struggling to free himself, Ooh. Jack and Billy and Betty are going into the great cyclotron the rock cyclotron. chamber. Always hated that ride at Six Flags. Man, Listen. everyone did. This way, Billy. The cyclotron is in the very center of the hill. We have to go through this door and through a long tunnel, and we come to a thick lead door which opens into the cyclotron look, chamber. Look for a blanket on the floor. Picnic basket. They certainly uh, don't uh, want anything to happen if this here uh, cyclotron uh, ever explodes or anything like that. Oh, they've got to be careful. That cyclotron generates hundreds of millions of volts. Here's the door to the tunnel. Betty, you go first. <laughs> what? <laughs> Chivalry. <laughs> Chivalry at its best. Yep. It's hard to see anything. This is dangerous, Betty. You go first. Except the rock lining. <laughs> we go straight ahead till we come to that lead door. There's plenty of light inside the cyclotron chamber. <laughs> That's from all the lightning. Do you think we tied that burglar tightly enough? I think so, Betty. Unless he's an expert at freeing himself. You tied him up, Betty. All we did was to hold him down. I know. Did he just Nobody blame Betty? Betty? Yes, he did. Getting out of those knots this very minute. Well, I'll have to take a chance. <laughs> he on. was so happy well, when we were doing it. Him back to his office right away. <laughs> you know who this fellow is. <laughs> Say, Jack. He even gave me a compliment. Uncle Jim and a scuffle, well, good knots, Betty. Butter from the Philippines? You know, sir, I got a <laughs> right here in my pocket. You remember when he said tighter? Here's that red door. <laughs> Lend a hand, Billy. It takes two of us to open it. Okay. We can make it if you try. <laughs> Just the two of us. Look at the Hey, there's somebody buzzing the door. Yeah, let him in. Answer that. Huge machine. Oh. Cyclotron, Betty. And those sparks are hundreds of millions of volts. <laughs> Somebody enter the door! <laughs> yes, it's dangerous, Betty. That's why you're in. going first. Hey, I wonder where Uncle Jim is. There he is. The Still right buzzing the door. Let him in! Else. Let him in! He's looking into the glass window with those blue sparks. We better get him right away, Jack. <laughs> no, Billy, we better wait just a minute. Somebody enter the, the door! door. We're doing something very important Get right the now. door! Jack, the burglar, or whoever he is, might get away. We'll have to risk that, Betty. <laughs> we can't interrupt Uncle Jim right in the middle of an experiment. Look, Jack. <laughs> yeah, not, look when, doing. not when there's they're atomic secrets being stolen. The <laughs> They've got something smeared on that plate, Billy. They're going to bombard it with hundreds of millions of volts. Oh, never mind. See? That's just Braunschweiger. They're eating lunch. They burn a hole in ordinary iron as if it were paper. <laughs> well, say they've turned the ray off now. Turn the hole in the earth. Jim's coming this way. He sees us. I'm going to wave at him, Jack. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. He's waving back. Here he comes. Yeah, but Betty, you can put your shirt back on. I just know that burglar will escape. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Jim. We didn't want to butt in. Hello, Jack. Hello, Butt in? Somebody you talking about here. butts? Uncle Jim, we caught a man in your office. He was searching through your papers. <laughs> Everything was turned upside down. Somebody ransacking my office, Jack? Did he look lovely? Yes, Uncle Jim. Yeah. And before that, he broke what into your office at the eyes? airplane factory and went through all your papers there. Well, I suspected this might happen. But I didn't <laughs> he always shows up on Thursday evenings. evenings. Right? I wish you'd managed to catch him. <laughs> I've been paying him $20. Not now. I tied him up. Jack and Billy held him down, and I tied him up. I tied him but up so good. <laughs> I'm thinking so of turning it into a job. See who he is. He's no ordinary person. <laughs> Got him with some Boy Scouts. <laughs> Did you know there's a market for that? I'll lead the way. I don't want that chap to get away until I see him. Oh, Uncle Jim, I almost forgot. I've got a letter for you from the Philippines. It came air mail. Here it is. A letter from the Philippines? Oh. It's long it overdue. says you may already Looked be important. a winner. It certainly is important, Jack. I'll tell you about it later. We've got to make sure this chap you caught doesn't get away. Here's the door to the main corridor. Here's my debit card. Mm -hmm. He can't get away. Look, there's the burglar just going out the main door. Oh, he 
did get away. I was afraid he might. Oh, oh darn! Jack, we'll catch him. But he left it. Thank you. Now it's my twenty dollar tip. I want you to follow that chap, but don't let him see you. Give him a chance to get away, but follow him on Twitter get out of your and Facebook. So you already go to what he does next, and then come back here. All right, Uncle Jim. We'll follow him in my I car. I need you to be gaslight him. Now. Don't let gaslight him see him. Him good. If he does see you, keep away from him. He may be dangerous. We'll be careful, Uncle Jim. <laughs> Betty, you wait here. Come on, Billy. <laughs> he also owes me for dinner last week. Open the door just a crack, Billy. <laughs> Give him a chance push to push Betty in. Car we saw. If it is his car. It is his car, Jack. He's getting in now. Carjack? <laughs> carjack. Have they got a carjack? As soon as he gets out uh -huh. of sight around that curb, we'll run out and get yeah. going. He's almost out of sight. Now, he's come on. out of sight! Yeah. You better driver, Jack. You can follow him better than I can. All right, <laughs> and, and you have a license. I don't. Yeah. Plus, I'm drunk. Um, gosh, I hope you haven't lost him. You didn't leave him in the car. No. Here they are. Oh, a swell In my job. pocket. Hurry yeah. up. He drives like a fool. We'll never catch him. Oh, don't worry, Billy. We ought to see him when we get around this curve. Gosh, I hope you're right. <gasps> there he is, Jack. Just passing that truck. Good. I'll keep behind the truck. It says Wheaties so on the side. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't seem That's to be driving so fast truck, this Jack. time. It's a good thing. I don't want to get a ticket. Look, Jack. He's turning off on the road to the airport. It's funny. I wonder what he wants there. Oh, I don't know. I'll drop Maybe back so an he won't $18 see tuna salad After sandwich. He's parked, we'll drive in and see what he's up to. Well, you don't suppose he's going back to search Uncle Jim's office again, do you? Maybe. But if he does, we'll catch him at it this time. Say, do you suppose he's going to take off in a plane? I don't think so, Billy. <laughs> you suppose? He has oh his own ship, but he may have his own ship. Well, if he tries hey, to get Jack, away with that, we'll have the airport police stop him. Stupid stopping. things. Here's the airport road. Do you suppose he I wants to look him. around with his eyeballs? Oh, yes, I do. He's just pulling into a parking place. You suppose he'll fly on the airplane? Yeah. We won't, Billy. We can always spot him around the airport. Hey, Jack. I want you to go over there and just walk in a circle. I wonder you if got he it. knows we're following him. <laughs> I don't think so. But we'll park here anyway on the drive that leads to this hangar. <laughs> Get out, Billy. But stay behind the car until we see that Remember, the coast is clear. Remember, we have clear. to leave in less than two hours. Otherwise, it costs $14. Jack, I can't see him anywhere. Turn the lights on, idiot. inside the waiting room, Billy. Say, maybe he came here to meet somebody. Yeah, <laughs> You're staring at the that's floor. just why he's here. <laughs> See what time it is. <laughs> oh, it's party time! Say, Billy, there's a plane from the West Coast to any minute. A plane from the West Coast, Jack? Say, do you suppose he's got a partner coming? We don't know a thing about him, Billy. Don't know what he's here for, what he's after, yeah, anything. why don't you ask more stupid questions? To Hudson. Gosh, we may be getting into this. You suppose a secret? Uh, do you think he's he meeting his accountant like to do his taxes? I Uncle Jim had told us more about it. He didn't have time. Maybe he's meeting Let's his rabbi and it's the, the Sabbath. We can come up Maybe they're having a Talmudic discussion. Those parked cars it is close to land. Near the gates yeah. where he can't see us. Okay, Jack, I think it's safe now. I don't see a sign of him. Come on. <laughs> but keep your eyes glued on he that just door. <laughs> if he comes out, duck. I will. You've got to be careful. I promised Uncle Jim we wouldn't let him see us. <laughs> Jim has don't worry, my eyes are closed. closed. He can't see me if my eyes are closed. Now, Billy, the coast is clear. Let's cut over to those parked cars, quick. We made it all right. I didn't see a sign just now. Let's their get sounds of running are really funny. Yes. Maybe. No one can see us from the waiting room if we stay behind these cars. <laughs> yeah, oh, nobody can see two, two people standing car. behind the car. Can see in that waiting room just the same. We want to see what gate he goes to when the plane comes in. Wait, Jack. There he is now, coming out the main door. He's going to gate number three. He doesn't see us, Billy. We'll Wait, go to gate number that one. That was the magic number. The plane ought to be in soon. There she is, Jack. She's coming in from the west, on the right of that radio tower. Yeah, that's her, all right. She's swinging into the field. Maybe, maybe She's he's going to take that plane, Jack. So he wouldn't leave his car here, Billy. He's meeting oh, somebody I better meet. Here she comes. Boy, watch her taxi up the runway. He's coming up to this gate, Billy. Watch it. He's coming here, too. Move back into the crowd more. Say, so, suppose he isn't meeting somebody, Jack. A lot of plane suppose talk. he just climbs aboard. And then we'd be sure to catch him. They are horrible at hiding. Passengers are yeah, they're, they're the worst at hiding. I was looking for somebody on the plane, Jack. I guess you were right. <laughs> the plane he flew itself. Somebody. Be careful now. He may turn around. Jack, somewhere. you're an idiot. Jack, look at that funny-looking man just getting out of the plane. The one in the checkered suit. A checkered suit and a beard. Yeah, <laughs> People with Billy. beards. It is idiots. a sight. <laughs> hey, wait Facial a minute. Hair is dumb. Billy, doesn't oh, he gosh. look? Gosh, sakes, Jack! It can't be, but it is. That's Blackbeard Flint. Who, I by the way, his original thought. name was well, African American. Here now. No mistake about Blackbeard. I'm glad they changed well, it. Well, what do you know about it's, that? It's, it's a lot I easier know it to say. Trouble somewhere, Jack. I never saw Blackbeard yet, but what he was up to some mischief. Well, what do you suppose Blackbeard's doing in Hudson? Well, I don't know. whatever Ask it is, I'll we bet do it's have a lovely tourism to program. Jim. Billy, look, our man's meeting him. That's who he came here to meet. He came here to meet Blackbeard. That settles it, Jack. There is trouble coming up. 
And if Blackbeard is in on it, that means it's positively got something to do with Uncle Jim. Positively. Coming this way, Billy. Quick, get to one side where they can't see us. Okay. Let's go inside where they can't see us. Right. Go to the side where there are no people. Blend dollar. into the wall. What do we do, Jack? We'll follow him, Billy. We'll follow him and find out where they're staying. Uncle Jim will want to know that. Yeah. They're getting in his car, Jack. Hurry up or we'll lose them. This way, Billy. <laughs> Keep to this side of the park. Cars they really are see. taking their time talking to each other. Wow, they look really gentle. They've started off, Billy. Let's run. They're hugging. Yeah. Here's your car, Jack. You drive. <laughs> Imagine Blackbeard turning up again after all this time. Yeah, and he's always managed to get us in a jam one way or another. Makes jam. He does make jam. <laughs> turn right, 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 jam. Listen, well, everybody's got a side well. hustle. Hold on, we're this turning to jam. We'll follow up. There they are, Jack. Up the road a bit. Why, they're turning off the road. <laughs> they're off the road. Billy. That's probably where our friend is staying. Uh, I guess you're right. See, they've stopped in front of that last cottage. Well, we've seen enough. They must have found that on Airbnb. To tell Uncle Jim. They're taking out a bottle of water. What on earth does it all mean? You can bet your boots on one thing, Jack. Bet your boots? That means there's going to be something doing in Hudson, and pretty doggone soon. Yeah. You have an airplane factory, an atomic energy research, and a cyclotron. Say, what does this mean? <laughs> we have no clue. First, this mysterious stranger goes through Uncle Jim's papers, and then Blackbeard the shows up. Blackbeard. I know. And what about that letter from the Philippines? He just started a movie. Uncle Jim seemed to think that was rated was R. So be on hand, all of you, at the same time tomorrow for same another exciting time, episode same bat of channel. Mysterious yeah. Stranger with Jack Armstrong, the All-American all White Man. Yeah. Now that school has started in almost every part of the country, I know a lot of fellas and girls are getting back to a mighty pleasant country. Fellas and girls. Yes, it's <laughs> an after-school bowl of Wheaties every day. Man, I don't know of any Man? other dish that packs I'm... so much flavor and satisfaction. Okay, those two words should never be associated with Wheaties. No. And those whole wheat when you think of are Wheaties, just do you as think delicious, flavor? just no. as nourishing in the afternoon as Plus, they I can't are imagine kids being time. excited to eat Wheaties. So have a big yeah. bowl of hey, Wheaties. Hey, Billy, you want to come over to school? Afternoon. We'll have some Wheaties together. Have you <laughs> I've got to go do something else. Wheaties, they're whole wheat with all of the brand. This is Franklin McCormick saying goodbye until tomorrow for General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions. And I'm General Storm. have just presented oh, another episode General of Mission. Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy. Oh, the boy. best breakfast food in the land. Wave the flag for Hudson High. Wave the flag. Yep. Sammy. This is the story about Sammy. His father sent him out to buy bread. I don't like it already. But Sammy I know. didn't feel like walking. He wished what? he could fly <laughs> instead. And he said. If I had one stay home and drink the beer, store, yeah. fly to the store, fly to the store. Sure. I I mean, was a bird, how I old is Sammy? That seems store, like an important detail. Fly to the store for my father. I mean, I'm sure he's five or under. Right. He's old enough to walk. <laughs> right. And imagine that he could fly. Yeah. We're talking to about yeah. a five year old. He's fine. This is Just a story. Buy and bread. Sammy. Yep. His father sent him out to buy bread. Yeah, we know that already. But Sammy yeah. didn't feel like walking. <laughs> it's good how complex the lyrics he could are. Swim instead. And he said, if I was a fish, I could swim to swim? the Whoa. Swim? Whoa. Swim what? To the store. Swim Where? To Where's the, the store? Is it in the Lost City of Atlantis? He's swim swimming to the, the store. store. He knows swim when he comes back, it's like bread is worthless. Like right. it's. This kid's an idiot. No wonder the dad sent him away. <laughs> this Ooh, is hope he becomes a snake at one point. Slither to the store. Yeah. Sent him out to buy bread. Yeah, we know that. Didn't feel like walking. Yep, it's yep. been established. Yeah, we know. He could crawl instead. And nope, he we know. He didn't feel like walking. If I was a bug, I could crawl to the crawl. Sky. Because that'll be quick. Right. To the store, be a human speed bump. Crawl to the store, because that's not weird at all. <laughs> and later, the DCS showed up at his dad's door. <laughs> My dad lived for cigarettes four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and never came back warning. since then. <laughs> he wished he could hop instead. And he said, What do you do this time? I was a baggy, I could hop to hop. the store. 
Okay, a bunny. Did bikes not a, not a, not exist? <clears throat> Evidently not. He had to walk, hop, swim, slither, not roll. roll. Not roller skate. Not scooter, skateboard. Find the slowest and dumbest ways to get to the store. Yeah, yeah, offensively dumb. Those things are not possible. He started to smile and he made up. Cause Daddy Lass burned in with a cigarette. Oh my god, he got the groceries wrong. Oh no. Walking to the store. Walking to the store. I better hurry up. And I'm walking to the store. Walking to the store. Dad's gonna call the cops and wonder where I am. I shop lived on purpose just to talk to a cop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, which one's uh, this one? What do Let's people see. do when they're feeling What do people do? Okay. How do they show <laughs> the world? Oh, they they How post on social media. People <laughs> stamp. Stamp? Some people and use road they, rage. Right. They use cowbell? Oh! You sack of crap! Get off the road! And that's what people do when they're feeling. Some angry. people use profanities. Yep. Son of a! What do people do when they're feeling sad? How do they show the world? They also post on social media. Right. <laughs> They walk to a bar and they drink all day, and then they walk drunkenly home. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Cry about it? Oh, don't hit me! What did you cry, Steve? Cry some more. Sad. That's how they show <laughs> the world. Or they what just they hide in their home when they feel afraid. They repress everything. <laughs> they ignore people and stay at home. Stuff your feelings down, down, down. Shake? I think shave. Like maybe it creates facial hair. <laughs> like I guess. People do when they feel afraid. That's how they show <laughs> Oh, I was hoping he would be like anxious or confused. <laughs> I know it's happy. People smoke marijuana, or they sniff a line. Dance? But the tambourine. I don't know if I've ever been so happy I've danced. Me either. If they're weird. Wow, this guy. Okay, the, the, this third one has to be better. So this third one, we're not really going to say much. Yeah, we, we <laughs> want it's... you guys to get the get the experience and also see why <laughs> yeah. this record should not exist. Right. It's just bad. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. A real eyes. song. Just keep that in mind. Nod your head. Okay. And turn around, turn around, turn around. Open your mouth. Oh! Close your mouth. <coughs> Wiggle your nose. Oh my gosh. Turn it off soon. And turn around, turn around, turn around. Stamp your feet loudly. Your feet That's enough. <laughs> clap your oh, okay. hands. Oh no, no. <laughs> we're we're done with that. Yeah. And clap your hands. Yeah. So we didn't want to listen to that whole thing. No. Sorry, we subjected you to the to this. Steve, like maybe like I, I'm not advocating that we destroy all the media that we 
listen to, <laughs> this one might. But, but this one might make it. We might want to just like put it in an oven and just turn it into a bowl. <laughs> hey, I have a fireplace in my house. We can just set it in there and just well, watch it melt. I like. We can still turn it into something useful and just never ever listen to it again. Right. Well, the saga with Jack Armstrong is is getting a little intriguing. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> or uh, not. I'm personally impressed with Betty's fixation on tying, Rope tying up, ropes. Yes. Like really went on and on about how well <laughs> she so did. What? Not just to Jack, but to her uncle. Hey, Jim, I tied him up really good. Yeah. Yeah. We all know Betty. Thank you for telling us. I know. And you know, like, listen, I think that Cyclonus, that, that's just what we're calling him. I think Cyclonus kind of liked it. <laughs> you know, and like, listen, I'm happy for him. Right. But like Betty, clearly, I think uh, she she's thinking about it a little too much. Yes. She's talked and, about uh, it on several occasions. That and the letter from the Philippines. Right. I think we've heard that about six times so far. Right. Now, like from my perspective, I really think Betty would like for Jack to be interested in her. And I think that <laughs> I think that Jack probably has the emotional maturity of a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, does not pick up He's on pretty clueless. Yeah, like she's she's throwing stuff out there, and it's not subtle, right? And Jack instead is like throwing her into dangerous situations with no regard for her safety. Right. <laughs> There's hundreds of millions of volts, Betty. You go first. <laughs> right. I don't like you. Get out there and die. You know, I'm. I, I listened to that, and I wondered if that line from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Where John Rice Davies goes, asps, very deadly. And then turns to Indy and goes, you go first. Right. <laughs> if that's where he came from. Yeah, like, I'm wondering if, if Steven Spielberg as a kid, like, listened to this at a record and was like, ooh, I bet I could use that. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. And so. then, yeah, the Hat Palmer thing, so you could see why it's a little weird. And yeah, the... the I, not, I don't know not why... a little weird. Yeah, I, a lot weird. I don't know why the guy decided to... Well, I don't know. It, it's just weird to think that, that an actual record producer gave the guy a contract and paid him yeah. to write songs. Yeah, like it, it's it's all weird. The whole situation, from the name to the concept to the execution. To the to words, the, the lyrics, everything. It's all, just weird. All of it is not good. And you and I have talked. Like, you know, like it's been 50 years since that record existed. It's possible that the world was a different place then. But it's hard for me to to imagine a world where this was a good where idea. That was okay. Yeah, yeah, and not and not, not sound weird. And we Absolutely. played you guys some of the nicer songs. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Some of the other ones were even more strange. Yeah, genuinely unsettling. Not like we didn't want to make fun of them because that meant that you guys would have to listen. Yeah, not it's, cool. Yeah, especially one song that we were going to play for you guys called "Won't You Be My Friend." Yeah. Um, that it, sounded very creepy. And it also, it gave uh, Weirdo Yankovic's famous, this song is just six words long. Yeah, because yeah, that's all he said. The repetition in that Won't song. Won't you be was, my friend? It, like, it, it didn't make for fun listening. No, it didn't. So thank you guys for joining us once again. Um, if you want to reach out to us with any questions or anything, we'd love to hear from you guys. Just um, our email is vinylword22 at gmail.com, and you can always reach us on Facebook as well at The Vinyl Word. Right, and uh, as you saw from the uh, from the video, we're now trying to do a little bit more on uh, yeah. on social media, on TikTok and stuff. Yeah, or YouTube and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, so it, it'll be fun. We're looking forward to trying to engage you guys more, and we are looking forward to keep getting better and uh, bring you guys better and better laughs. Yeah, exactly. I'm Alan Aachen, and we'll see you next week. Brian, you're doing it again. Oh, I'm sorry. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-ba. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da.